Hello, beautiful group. How are you today? I am working from my lounge room because it's cold outside and I have got the fire roaring over there. I <laughs> jam packed it with wood. I know that's going to keep me warm all day and all night. But I wanted to pop in to the group today to talk to you about a big question. So I get this kind of variation of the same question quite a lot. Hi, April. Um, and it's around like defining and becoming known for something and standing out and becoming known for something. And how do you, in this really crazy, noisy online world, claim this little slice of the pie that you can become known for something and that you can attract people? Um, and so I've got one really simple tip for you today. And that is to ask yourself the question, what are you the poster child for? So what I mean by that is, what is your kind of rallying cry, your battle cry? Regardless of what your business does, what is it that you stand for and believe in? So bigger than, you know, so for me, bigger than doing marketing and helping people with their brand and marketing, I stand for women who want more. So women who want more out of their lives and out of their business. They don't want to sit in a corporate cubicle and do the same thing day in, day out. They want more and they're going to go after that. So everything I do in my business helps women achieve that. And, and men, but main, I mainly work with women. So think about what is your rallying cry? What's your battle cry? What's that thing that you stand for that everything within your business and within your brand can sit underneath. So that should you go in different directions, launch different products, different services, whatever it might be, what is that one thing that you stand for, that you really believe in, that is the hook and the anchor for your brand? Because when you find that one thing, it's much easier for you to create content, for you to write emails, do Facebook Lives, marketing, all those things, because you have this battle cry. You have something to call people to action with. You have something that people want to come along with. And you also are really clear you have a true north. Oh, great. I want to empower women to market their business through technology. Awesome. So when you know, when you know that and say that so proudly, then people follow along with that. So what is it about um, empowering women to market their business through technology? Why is that important to you? So even dig below that, like why does that matter to you um, that they use technology? And you know, why is it important to you that they grow a business? And just, and, and really think about what that means to you and why that's important to you. Because I think having that really strong rallying cry helps you you know, it's a thing that a TED talk is shaped around. It's the thing that um, your brand positioning is shaped around. It enables you to pivot in terms of what you might offer because everything comes back to that really core belief and purpose behind your brands. And I remember when um, back in my days of working in corporate and working in ad agencies, we always used to say, like, what's the enduring idea? What is the big idea behind your business that stays so what's the lasting enduring idea that when your business um can one day say we've we've done that we got there um and if someone for example handed you the mic at a not a wedding but like at a party you're smashed right and you've got five minutes to get on your soapbox about something that matters something you know something that matters to you hi Justin how are you and Tiana and Rebecca hi so you've got five minutes right to tell people what you stand for and why you're here and give them your rally and cry what would that be you know what are you going to say to people that is going to inspire them to come along on that journey with you because when you find that battle cry and that rallying cry and that big purpose behind your business and we've got Justin in the group who's just hopped on and he is a big talker about purpose and a big believer in purpose and I totally agree like once you find that and once you know that <laughs> Tiana's on it he's just she just did a live a minute ago and said wiener by mistake on her Facebook live which it was a funny moment Tiana um once you know your purpose, 
then people know why they should come along on that journey with you. And I think it makes all your marketing so much easier because you're not sat there like staring at that blinking cursor going, okay, what do I write? What do I say? How do I engage with people? Because you've got this one big battle cry and rallying cry. So I really firmly believe in that. And that would be my little hot tip for today to ruminate on that, to think about what is your rallying cry? As I said, mine is around women who want to have more. I want to be the poster child for the women who want to have more. So what are you the poster child for? Um, and come back and declare it in the group. Um, oh, April, you've put something here. Let me just have a look. Women are providers. We wear many hats and it's hard. Yes, and that's great. Like, we do. So we do so many things and taking your business, taking something off their plate and helping them with technology is making their lives easier. And that, like, life shouldn't be hard. We've got so many things to do. Let's make it easier. So that's great. You know, come up with that rallying cry and that one core belief. And splash it everywhere. Talk to, you know, make sure that's front and center in everything that you do and everyone that you talk to. Get that message out there so that you become known for that one thing and you attract the right people. So the people that don't believe that what you believe, well, screw them. It doesn't really matter. You don't want to bring them along. You don't want the dead wood. You want the people who go, hell yes, I believe that too. I have the same vision. I have the same mission. Um, or I value what that person values and therefore I want to be a part of that. And that's how you grow engagement and community because people believe in the same thing. Like putting out there lots of how-to content on like how to hook up your email subscriber to the this or how to do this and how to do that. Yes, people want to learn instructional stuff, but what they really want is to be inspired, understood and connected. So your message and your content should help them do those things. And with that little rant, I'm going to go off for the day, drink some more coffee and put some more wood on the fire to keep myself warm. And I hope you all have an awesome day and I will speak to you all soon.